Right, there, there's, there's lots of factors. And you'd be like, oh, man, so nobody has time for all that. I just had a bad experience, all right? And I'm just putting it on this little report and just, you know, bad mouth them. You cannot take doTERRA essential oils internally, according to this person that I'm going to read a comment from one of their comments on one of my videos. Link for that will be in the description below, so you can check that out. And then we have a couple comments, so we're going to cover both of them, provide a reasonable response, and then go from there. Here we go. This person said, according to the YouTube video, can I ingest essential oil episode 2? She talks about the increasing reports of people being hospitalized by drinking doTERRA, lemon, and digest zen. She says that no essential oils are safe to ingest because of these reports. It does not make sense that it's not safe to ingest essential oils with water because water and oil do not mix, which can cause the oils to damage the esophagus and stomach lining. And if it's true that mixing essential oils with water and drinking it is not a safe way to consume them, what does that say about our company that was started by scientists and doctors? So this person's in doTERRA. They're just kind of like, hey, this person said this. What's really the deal, right? I've covered a lot of the internal use of oils, but anyways, let's continue reading and then I'll kind of provide my response. You think that would be pretty basic stuff for them to figure out, but I think that saying essential oils are not safe to ingest because they don't mix well with water is like throwing the baby out with the bath water. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much what it is. It's kind of like drawing a, an inaccurate conclusion based on a few examples or a number of examples. You know, like, are those examples representative of the whole? They're not, okay? They're, they're not, <laughs> because everyone is not having that same experience. It is a few examples, and we have to know, like, how many drops did they use? What was their, you know, size, height, weight, gender, or sex? Like, what, what was the situation that went on? How much did they use? Where did they put it? Was it diluted or not? I mean, there's just so many questions, and yes, there is a video and reports that kind of go into that, but those are, like, follow-up questions that we need to go into. Do some people have sensitivities to certain plants? Yes, okay. Well, is that based on the plant or the frequency that they used it? How many times they use it within a certain period of time or the amount that they use? Like, there's a lot of follow-up questions for understanding because if each one of those cases and people, you know, said, here's what I did, and I'd be like, well, okay, well, have you been tested to see if you have a sensitivity to a plant? Like, they'd be like, no, this is what happened, and I had a bad experience, ah, and it's just like, well, okay, well, I mean, first of all, how much did you use? How often did you use it? You know, like, those are questions I would ask. Did you use one drop or ten drops? Like, what, what's really going on? Anyways, they go on to say, maybe they just need to be mixed with something oil-soluble, okay? Yeah, I mean, that is one option, but yeah, if you just shake something like, like this, like, I put my reverse osmosis water, apple cider vinegar, organic, and lemon essential oil and shake it. And yes, it doesn't exactly always mix perfectly, but it gets good enough so that when I drink it, it is diluted. And I put one drop per four ounces, which is recommended on the bottle if it has a supplement fax label, which is improved for internal use with doTERRA. So that's how that works, just so you kind of get that awareness. He left a second comment and he said, here's the link for all the reports of people being from properly using essential oils, take it with a grain of salt. I'm not sure if I believe a lot of them. And so that will be down below. That's from our aromatherapyunited.org and they have a number of reports. You can check those out yourself. Again, that will be below. And again, I, I always want to know and understand, you yeah, those reports, reports talk about it, but like the frequency of use, the quantity, the brand. Um, did somebody have a plant sensitivity? So there's a lot of follow-ups and if those aren't, you know, going to be able to be answered, then we don't have the right framework by which to interpret all the data. So we, we kind of need a framework so that we can kind of be like, all right, well, too much for their height, weight, you know, sex, all that stuff. So we got to understand, like, what went on with that situation, that person handled things on a case-by-case -case basis and not throw the baby out with the bathwater when it comes to internal use. But at the same time, like, did they also, if it was a citrus oil from doTERRA, did they use glass, stainless steel, or a ceramic mug, you know, like that's, you know, did they go out into the sunlight if they applied it topically and internally? Like, there's so many things to, like, go into stuff. Was it an infant? Was it a toddler? Was it a child? Was it a young adult? Was it an adult? Was it, a, 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 you know, a senior person? Like, age is another factor, right? There, there, there's lots of factors. And you'd be like, oh, man, so nobody has time for all that. I just had a bad experience, all right? And I'm just put it on this little report and just, you know, badmouth them. There, there's, there's more to it. That's all I'm saying. 
Well, anyways, that concludes today's video. Hopefully, you have a framework by which to think about things and review those reports and those people that had those bad experiences. I'm not discounting their experiences, but at the same time, there's always more to the story, and we need to pull out the truth, whether it's a you know a watermelon seed or the watermelon size piece of truth from whatever that we see, um, even if we whether we agree with it or not. And I think that's a good way to look at things. Is again, pull out the truth and go from there. Again, hit the like button if you did. Share this video with somebody that would benefit from it. And most importantly, check out the links in the description below so you can continue to get your learn on. And I'll see you in the next video.